Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Today I'm gonna to show you how to back up your wing, interact with the files on the internal drive of the wing by plugging it into a computer via the USB cable. So if you use the USB port on the back of the wing and plug it into a computer, you can interface with and interact with the files on the wing. Uh, you can back up the entire internal drive very easily. Uh, so you could have a very large file structure, a lot of folders, a lot of you know shows, snapshots and snippets saved on your wing that you just want to back up really easily without having to move them on and off a USB drive. So you go ahead and plug that USB cable into your computer and you go to your setup screen on the wing and down here at the bottom left you have two options. Uh, you have the USB MSD access. Okay, So you have the OS partition and you have the data partition. Uh, so by clicking either one of these buttons, it will enable that USB port um, in the computer to see either the OS part of the wing or the data part of the wing. So to back up your snapshots and files, you want the wing data. So we're going to go ahead and uh, press that, and it's going to confirm that you want to start the USB disk mode. So by default, if you plug that USB cable into a computer, the computer is going to see it as an audio input source, and you can use that for uh, recording multi-tracks of the board itself. I have other videos explaining how to do that. So when you enable this mode, now the computer won't see it as an audio source anymore, it will see it as a disk drive. So I'm going to confirm that, and if we hop over to my computer, we now see that there's a new drive that's been installed, or that shows up, called Wing Data. So I'm going to click Wing Data, so we have the entire file structure. So now it's super easy. You can um, you know, click everything and uh, drag it to your computer to back the entire drive up with one uh, fell swoop. Or you can you know, delete files. And this is also a great way to reorganize your drive. If you've created a whole bunch of files, you know, I have these um, four master files plus these snapshots all here on the main level of my drive. Maybe I feel like it's getting too messy. I could create a folder, drag and drop them. So it's really easy to organize your entire drive from the computer uh, in this setup. So once you're done with interacting with the wing uh, in this fashion, all you have to do is eject that drive. And then if we go back over to the wing, you see that it turned off that wing data automatically. And if we go back to library, your library now shows up here as normal and the USB port would act as normal, showing your computer as an input source. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.